is reflection important? Reflection is important to the cultivation of personal and professional knowledge. Individuals use many forms of knowledge in their everyday lives, including technical skills, scientific understanding, social norms, cultural perspectives, relational connections, and social awareness. This knowledge is not built on the pages of texts, lectures, videos, or other forms of media alone. It requires students to process and experience and to reflect on each opportunity to learn, grow, and flourish as individuals, learners, and professionals. In our professional lives, we tend to focus on the technical and scientific knowledge base because it is important in our work. However, it is also vital for students, educators, and professionals to reflect on what is sometimes called the epistemology of practice. This is the knowledge that we may not even realize we have. This is about discerning how to apply evidence, feedback, results, and new information. A large part of our practice-based knowledge comes from experience, and we do not always know how to explain why we do something the way that we do it. In fact, some of our behaviors and actions in practice are so deeply embedded that when asked, why did you do it that way, we might respond with, that's just the way I've always done it. Pauline Nee describes it as that which we know but cannot tell. Reflective practice assists individuals in using metacognition to uncover their tacit knowledge in order to make it more explicit. Reflection is also important because our world has become very complex and we are living in a time where the quantity of information we need to sort through and manage has exploded. Thus taking the time to wade through the abundance of information surrounding us is vital in today's rapidly changing environment. Reflective practice helps professionals sift through emotions and thoughts, negotiate the complexity of tasks and situations, and encourages an intentional and explicit sorting of information. Reflection helps to discern the best course of action, prepare individuals to avoid mistakes in the future, and become more efficient in their practice. So the real question is not why do we need to reflect, but why don't we reflect enough?